Once again, yo, it's your boy, Injury to the City, right here, Chiva Brother Nation. You know the deal, you know what's ill, you know what's honest, a real ill trill. Once again, the talk entertainment audio tape, once again. Maybe talking about some John Davis on Facebook, once again, his comments towards my artistry and his uh, fellow followers. Or I may just be talking about some sports on this one. Uh, once again, you know, some of the latest in sports news. It's also just my, just know, I'm most likely to talk about the sports, but if I talk about John Davis, you know, again, Simple as that. Be um, should I say put more emphasis on what I put on, um, should I say the past audio tapes of him, you know, past three that I posted today. I'm gonna put more emphasis if I do to talk about him. Most likely I just be talking about sports in this one. And if you want to hear my comments on John Davis, ladies and gentlemen, once again, you can go ahead and look on my YouTube channel at the um, past three videos, past three talk entertainment videos, and that's that. But once again, um, to the audience that. You know, is listening to this audio tape. Just note that um, getting into some sports now. Uh, Golden State Warriors, my Golden State Warriors won versus the um, once again Cleveland Cavaliers. And once again, I'm happy they did. Versus, you know, on Tuesday they won. But uh, you got to realize that again, when it comes to the best in the world of basketball, and I got to go with Steph Curry. But definitely, I mean, definitely neither Steph Curry or. or I mean, I mean, I mean, if it was between James and Steph, I'm going with Steph. But both James and Steph are just one of the best. They're not the absolutely best to, uh, best to play the game. Because, again, for me, my personal opinion, to earn the title of the best in the world at that game or that position, whatever, you got to, like, you got to break every, you got to be, you got to be, you have, your records have to be the one, the, 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 the only ones standing at the highest podiums. You know, if you are the best at that position at the game, whatever, you your, your records gotta be the highest ones that are standing. Nobody else's. I mean, I mean your records gotta crush everybody else's. I mean, if you wanna call yourself the best in the world, the best for you know player, whatever that you know, that's what you gotta do. In my uh, best best um perspectives of that matter. Now if you're a game controller, that's because I'm playing two K fifteen, I'm Xbox on my Xbox 360. And once again, sorry for some of my stuttering throughout this and throughout my whole career when it comes to audio tapes and even some raps. Sorry about that, you know. Not proud of that habit, but I do it sometimes. But um once again, um, other sports stuff. For example, uh some Friday news, some news uh, not Friday news, Thursday news. Uh the Bengals cut quarterback Terrell Pryor, the same quarterback that was talking about going to the Super Bowl, which as they're talking about he got dreams of the Super Bowl. Now I, I respect that. I respect him saying I respect that. You know, he know you like he know you're a good quarterback, so he got dreams of going to going to the Super Bowl. Now, the only problem is with Terrell Pryor, he kinda they kinda should have kept kept him on Oakland where he was. They really kinda should have kept him where he was. I don't know whether he 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 pushed for the for the for the release or trade or whatever, I don't know. You know, I don't know whether he pushed for the trade or they pushed for the or you know, or what. Well, actually, I don't even think I don't even think he got traded. Cause I think he got picked up by the uh, Seahawks. The Arnold Ross, the Arnold Ross spot with them got cut in the preseason, and whatnot. Terrell Pryor is again. He's just one of those journeyman quarterbacks that once again has a lot of talent, but just again never fully gets every every full opportunity in the book to try to prove that because of the people that once again surrounds surrounds him. Well, not even surrounds him. He just never gets the full opportunity because of the, the people that. The, the people that sign him aren't committed. They're not committed to him. Because of Matt Scott, right? Matt Scott. I don't know how. He, I don't know if he played better than Jason Campbell in last preseason versus the last preseason. Sorry, last preseason for the Bengals. I don't know whether he played better than um, the backup Jason Campbell. I don't know whether uh, he did. Or Matt Scott played better. All I know for a fact is Matt Scott played. What I saw, he played, played good. But again, he's probably playing versus the two to threes. The point is, he played good. And the point is, you know, whether you play versus the two with the ones, twos, or threes, you know, in certain circumstances, you're still game. You're you're still gonna stay on the roster if they want to want you to keep one. He keep you on the roster. And it's just a matter, like I say, he should have stayed. Jason Campbell. I don't know whether Jason Campbell should have left, but at the same time, the matter of fact being, is look what Jason Campbell doing. And if you had Matt Scott there, you know, look what you would have. I mean, look what you would have had. You know. As your backup last last year, but not only would not even what you would have had your backup last year, but as a matter you probably would have had him you know, on your team for multiple years to come. You would have had Adrian McCarron back there as well, learning and growing 
but as well, AJ McCarron. I hope he. I mean, for I mean, any Dom fans. I mean, he he's I. Right. He, for my opinion, he's an on and off quarterback. You know, just like Cam Newton's an on and off quarterback, in my best opinion. Again, these guys are pretty much, in my opinion, they're overrated. Because no offense to Andy Dalton, again, I hope he takes the Bengals to something, meaning past the wild card, and hopefully, because Bengal fans are all about that. They've been going, they've been going to the wild card for God knows how many years since Andy Dalton been there. I think every single year. But the only problem is that they need to get back past, they need to get past the wild card, and it's just a matter of with Matt Scott and whatnot. You know, he's a good stud and whatnot. He's over there in Canada now, along with a lot of the guys like Jordan Rogers, the brother of Aaron Rodgers. He's over there in Canada now. And it's just a matter of the fact being that with Matt Scott, or not even Matt, Matt Scott. I mean, Matt Scott, he was on, he got, when he got, when he went undrafted, he was on, he, he went to the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, spent a, a season with them. And he should have played with, he should have played for them in a few games. Because again, what do what the Jaguars ever, ever have to lose? What, what do the Jaguars ever have to lose? Tell me that. What do the Jaguars ever have to lose? You know, so I mean, he, he should have definitely played with the Jaguars. But again, you know, that's how the Jaguars uh, operate. They cut Jake Waters, so they wave Jake, Jake uh, uh, Waters. And now they got, um, I think, um, his name is, uh, uh, well, Matt Sims, I think, is now with Bu Bu Buffalo Bills. And uh, the Jaguars got, um, just, I, forgot, I forgot the guy's name, but, um, yeah, Jeff Tool, Washington State's Jeff Tool. That's who they got, um, you know, in replace of uh, Jake Waters there. And I, I just pray, pray to God, whoever they have as a starter and whatnot, whoever they got on the roster, just, you know, but if Blake Bulls is a starter, whoever they got is Blake Bulls' backup. So I just hope they push him to be the best he can be. Because, I, like I say, you know, I mean, you know, I mean I'm not knocking Blake. He's a good guy, a good he, – I mean, he, he's a good football player. He just needs to, you know, show up the second season and definitely on that field. Because, I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, we, we could have got Teddy, we could have got Derek Carr, we could have got, um, you, know, you, know, you know, Johnny Manziel, you know. Uh, by the way, I'm going to make, I'm a, but by the way, I'm a, like I said, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm not a big fan of Johnny, but I'm a good, I'm a good fan of uh, Johnny Manziel, you know, and whatnot, I mean. I mean, I, I'm a good fan of Johnny Manziel, and it's just a matter of fact being with uh, Johnny Manziel, it's just a matter of fact being, I hope he, I mean, you know, he's got his. I mean, he got his life together, you know, to certain degrees when it comes to, you know, how he wants to be, how he wants to be pursued. But um, I mean, I just pray to God that God, you know, does, you know, does what he must do to once again earn that roster spot and be the starter for the Cleveland Browns to do what they drafted him to do. But to the same matter of fact, being you just got to realize that once again, Johnny Manziel. I mean, brother, you know, once again, I want to mention you in a song. I don't know what song it's going to be, but like I said, I'm a good fan of you, bro. Not a big fan, but I'm a good fan of you, bro, and I want to see you succeeding. I want you to see that, that success. And once again, even, even though John, Johnny Manziel is not, he's pretty much said that he's um with the uh, money sign, he's um over for him that he's not, he's like, he said that would not be, that, he said that would not be making a comeback. That, the money sign for him would not be making a 2015 comeback. For me, I don't, for me, I'm, like I said, I, I, I'll, I'll do the money sign regardless. And you know, whether he does it, I don't. I mean, I mean, I, originally, just like a lot of people, a lot of people, we people, we got it from him. But personally, I'm, I mean, I mean, I'll keep, I'll keep doing it. You know, I mean, I'm gonna keep, keep doing it. You know, and still in support of him, and and even you know, just, just cause I, I want to do it and whatnot. You know, and you know, you know pop season fest for me is another thing, re representation of you know why I do it. You know, pop season fest and whatnot. Again, and for me, for me, I'm not doing if anything net, you know, negative. I'm not doing. I mean, for the you know money sign as well. I mean, for me, I'm not again. I'm not doing the money sign for anything, any negative correlation or you know. I'm not doing it for anything negative. Net negative. I'm doing it, you know, pretty much. You know, I mean, again, you know, money sign. You know, honest money, good money. You know, you know, honest money. You know, through Christ, taking care of yourself. You know, or, you know, or taking you know, uh, you know, family, others, team, self. Stuff like that, you know, y'all yeah, understand. And definitely listen to my new album, 2015 Sorry, 2015 Respect Us on the 904. You definitely understand what I'm trying to say here. And when it came to what I just tried to say, explain with you know, Johnny Money and you know my my perspectives on the money side and whatnot. Once again, Johnny, just wish you the best, my young um, brother. And uh, you look forward to uh, cheering you on with the Cleveland Browns this fall. And just know Terrell Pryor, once again, uh, he, he, he's a dreaming quarterback. I wish he had not gotten waved by the Weighed by Cincinnati Bengals, I really wish he hadn't because, like I say, it's amazing how many guys, you know, have talent, but they just aren't given 
time preparation and what not to work on it because of, you know, their A, the environment, who, I mean, then who they had, who the team already has as a starter, and number three, just because of those teams probably just aren't willing to take the chances they need to take. I mean, like, I mean, they're willing to invite them to training camp, but they were never willing to, you know, give them that four shots to earn a roster. Well, not even that, but, you know, I mean, I mean, because a lot of guys do good in preseason, they still get cut. I mean, and that that's the thing you gotta realize, people. Your your, your job is never guaranteed. Is 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 never guaranteed. You know? Even if you got a fat contract, it's still never guaranteed. You would think it is, but especially if you don't read that fine print, it's never guaranteed. You know, especially if you don't read that fine print, you know it's not. You know it's, it's never guaranteed. Once again, people, this talk entertainment audio tape is running out. But once again, on the next one, I will once again talk about again mainly just sports. Hopefully, mainly just sports. And whatnot, and uh, other other sporting news, you know, other sporting news. And once again, people, thank you for listening. God bless. And once again, Matt Scott, like I say, uh, hopefully he gets back in the NFL soon and takes over a franchise. But again, again, that's another thing I'll be talking about when it comes to new contracts. You know, being you know given bodies or uh, other NFL quarterbacks that don't deserve it and whatnot. And you know, other other uh, other guys who do des- do do deserve it who are called right now or in a free agency. But once again, I'll talk about that in the other audio tape. So once again, once again, God bless. Peace, chill, brother, chill, God first, you know the deal. And one of the people, more uh, great music uh, and talking entertainment stuff and, you know, videos coming soon, okay? God bless.